Ah, ah. I don't like any kind of wasabi sauce, including the small package wasabi sauce, or the freeze wasabi paste, or even the fresh grind wasabi. So when I'm eating like sashimi but without the wasabi, other people it's just like they can't believe somebody actually do that. But I know there must be like people like me who do not like the taste of wasabi. And I often want to ask why you even have to eat that stuff. Well, the older people always said because. Sashimi, that kind of food, has safety concern, and wasabi is very spicy, so it can kill germ. Well, I never thought about that answer, because simply just don't care. But right now, since we have this chance, I think maybe I can do a test to see whether wasabi can really kill germs, like what people say. Here I prepare some material for testing. First is the wasabi sauce. It is made by SMB, that is a Japanese brand. It is not made of real wasabi, but another species of plant, and add wasabi flavor and food color. This is normally used as a cheap alternative. And the next one is the frozen wasabi paste, which is real wasabi. And it does not contain any preservative or food color, so I think this is the best I can get,、uh, besides buying a fresh wasabi and grind it by myself. And as for the control, I'll be using this. It is called chloral hexidin, which is a very common antimicrobial agent, and this one is twenty percent. And I will dilute it into four percent, which is the concentration used for skin disinfection before surgical operation. As for the bacteria, well, today I have these three species, and this one is a strain of E. coli I get from sewage water. And this is some Enterobacter complex, which I think is also from sewage water. And here, this is the some S. aureus I got from the、uh, skin. So I will be using what refers to as disc methods here.、Uh, first, I'll have to spread bacteria onto each plate. So here I use a little bit of TSB growth media to make this sterilized cotton rod a bit moist, which it will be easier to spread the bacteria. And then right now I'll spread the bacteria onto the plate, trying to get them evenly onto the entire plate. And I'll do three plates for each species of bacteria, so there will be total of nine plates. Now I'm going to divide each plate into four section. I'm using this ruler; it's made by myself to divide it. It's very convenient. And I'll be write down、uh, what I'm going to put into each section. The X means、uh, a blank disc, and the CHX means the coral hexidin. SB means the、uh, wasabi sauce, and the wasa means the wasabi paste. Next, I'm going to prepare the paper disc. I use a hole puncher on normal filter paper to get some round-shaped paper disc and auto-clip them. 
They are commercial ones, but they are quite expensive, so I don't think it's worth it to buy. I've tried to use Japanese watercolor paper. It turned out badly since they don't absorb water that well. So you can just use some filter paper. They are way cheaper and easy to use. I'm sorry that my hand blocked most of the screen. Basically, what I'm doing right now is to get the substance onto the paper disc. For wasabi paste and kora hexidine, that's easy since they can be absorbed into the paper. But for wasabi sauce, I have to cover the substance on the paper disc with it because it does not have juice for the paper to absorb. Now all I have to do is to put the disc onto the right section of each plate and make sure they stay flat on the agar surface. Then I can take those plates and put them into the incubator. While waiting for the bacteria to grow, let me quickly explain the method today. Now when we put a disc on the agar plate, the whatever substance contained in that disc is going to diffuse into the surrounding agar. This will create a concentration gradient in the area where the closer to the disc, the concentration of the substance is higher. So in our case, if the substance we are testing have antimicrobial effect, bacteria will only grow in the area where the concentration of the substance is tolerable. In this way, the area near the disc will become a no-growth zone. We call it the inhibition zone. And we can compare antimicrobial effect of different substances by measuring the diameter of this zone. Now after 24 hours of incubation, you can see the inhibition zone, which is the transparent area on the plate. What I'm going to do now is to measure it. Here is the data of our experiment. At the side, we can see the test substance and bacteria. And the number here is the diameter of the inhibition zone, and here is the average. The unit is millimeter. We can see that only the chlorohexidine group have inhibition effect, and nor does the wasabi sauce or wasabi paste has any inhibition effect on our test bacteria indicate that there might not be any antimicrobial effect. In fact, wasabi is used to cancel the greasy feeling of the raw fish and further increase the flavor of the fish. So adding wasabi is a personal preference that has nothing to do with food safety. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or some topic you want to see, let me know in the comment section. I will see you next time. Bye bye.